Wow, over 200,000 people have applied for a free volunteer cruise with Royal Caribbean. And we're going to give you all the details of how to apply for one of these free cruises. Plus, one Royal Caribbean ship is already sailing. And we have all of the details, plus news from all of the other big major cruise lines. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. Welcome to this week's Cruise News Roundup. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now. Before we talk about those free test cruises from Royal Caribbean, let's quickly update you on the latest news. Royal Caribbean chairman and CEO Richard Fain has said he still doesn't know when cruising will restart, but that they do have a positive outlook now that vaccines have been announced. He said that the combination of vaccines, faster testing and treatment options available means they now have an end of this pandemic and it's finally in sight. In other Royal Caribbean news, they have cancelled all cruises up to March 2021, but there is one notable exception. Quantum of the Seas has already started its first voyage from Singapore. Yeah, and our friends from the Singapore Cruise Society have been on board and shared these exclusive pictures with us. It looks really great. This is a round trip to nowhere with just residents from Singapore. But it's a fantastic thing and the first time that Royal have sailed with passengers. Some things we've learned from this first cruise and giving us an excellent idea of what a Royal Caribbean cruise will look like are... Well, when boarding guests must download a contact tracing app on their phone or collect a token. Basically, it's a wrist strap type device which tracks movement on board when you get close to other people. In each stateroom, guests found complimentary face masks as well as hand sanitizer to use. And instead of going to a normal muster drill and standing in close contact with everybody else while the drill goes on, you'll watch the drill from your stateroom television or on the Royal Caribbean app. It's called Muster Drill 2.0. And then you'll just pop down to the muster station and check in with a crew member there. All onboard activities and things to do have been altered to meet social distancing needs and guidelines. Yeah, this means things like the North Star, the giant pod which goes up over the ship, will only allow four or five guests and one crew member at a time to ride. The laser tag has been changed from a team shootout to a game where each team stands in the middle and shoots at targets for 45 seconds to see who has the highest score. Yeah, water fountains and things like that around the ship are not available due to health and safety concerns. And seats in all of the different venues have been marked off to allow for social distancing. There's also floor markings throughout the ship to help with social distancing. And you'll need to reserve seats for things like shows in the theatre on the app, and then crew will guide you to your reserved seats. And then once the show's finished, you'll leave the theatres and venues in different marked off zones. So depending on what zone you're in, you'll leave with that green of people to avoid and provide better social distancing. Meal services are contactless with socially distant tables and QR code menus. And the Windjammer buffet is still there, but now it's full service with crew picking the food for you and serving you. So you'll just point out what you like and they'll give it to you. So that's Singapore. Yeah, and thanks again so much to the Singapore Cruise Society. They are the leading cruise blog and community in Southeast Asia, bringing you the latest cruise industry and cruise information over there. So please do give them a follow at SG Crew Society on Facebook and Instagram. Now let's take a look at the coolest wallet we have ever used. This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. With Christmas coming up, it's seriously the perfect gift. We've had ours for a few weeks now, and I'm wondering why I'm still carrying around this old bulky thing. It is awful, David. Look at the size of that thing. It looks like it was made in the 90s. Well, no more with the Ridge Wallet. Not only does it look super sleek with two metal plates bound together by a durable elastic band, it's so easy to get what you want in and out of the wallet. It doesn't fold awkwardly or bulge in your back pocket and it's designed to just pop into your front pocket. And it holds up to 12 cards and there's over 30 different colours and styles including titanium, aluminium, polycarbonate and like ours the really cool carbon fibre one. Yeah, I love this design. It's really cool. It feels like quality and it looks cool. And it comes with a lifetime guarantee, so that shows you it's gonna last. 
Plus, we love that it has RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers and keeps your cruise card from being deactivated. How many times has that happened to us? It's so annoying. Exactly. And the Ridge team is so confident that you're going to like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. If you don't love it, you can send it back for a full refund. I bet you've never thought to ask for a wallet for Christmas, but why not? We guarantee that you'll love it. Whether it's for a gift for yourself or someone else, you can't go wrong with something built right. And because we're working with The Ridge, we can give you 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns. All you've got to do is go to theridge.com forward slash Ben and David and use the code Ben and David, or just click the link in the description section below. But for the USA, there are still three tests each cruise line, including Royal Caribbean, need to do before they get cruising. Briefly, they are testing crew members, simulated cruises to test out new protocols, and then applying for a conditional sailing certificate from the CDC. In other Royal Caribbean news, Odyssey of the Seas has floated out in the German shipyard. She's left the enclosure of the factory and has been seen with a brand new hull design, with its huge name down the side of the hull. What do you think? Have a look at these pictures now. We're yeah. so excited to sail on her in April. She looks very different, but very glamorous indeed. Yeah, what do you think about the new titles, guys? I don't know. Personally, for me, I think they're a bit too big. But then I guess if you are at a distance, it's nice to be able to actually see what the name of the ship is. Now, those free cruises, like we said, over... 200,000 people have applied to cruise on one of Royal Caribbean's test cruises. And we can reveal that these test cruises will take place in Florida and Europe. And as you know, they've already taken place in Singapore. So if you are in Europe, please do sign up and make sure you pop your country in there and you might have a chance. Very exciting. These are designed to test all the protocols and procedures to prevent COVID. Now, the big details. What do you do if you want to be one of the first people back at sea? Well, volunteering is super simple. We've popped the link in the description section below of where to volunteer. Basically, it asks a few details such as name, number of people cruising, your location, and finally, your loyalty number. The loyalty number is probably going to be one of the most important things because we've heard through the grapevine, they're going to pick people with the biggest and best loyalty statuses first. But there's also some extra things to consider. You must be over the age of 18 to travel on these cruises. You must also be healthy. We have a note from a healthcare professional saying that you have no underlying medical conditions and are healthy to travel. You'll also sign a declaration stating that you'll be travelling on a cruise with untested procedures. This is what they call an inherently risky activity. So what will you be required to do if you were selected to be one of the volunteers? Well, it's not going to be a normal cruise. The following things would be simulated. Boarding and disembarkation procedures, including terminal check-in. All onboard activities, including dining, entertainment, and things like trivia. Private island shore excursions, it's probably going to be Coco Cay in the Bahamas, but you'll also be required to do things like emergency and evacuation procedures. COVID outbreak protocols such as isolation, drills and quarantining of passengers and crew. This may involve taking extra COVID tests and even quarantining for part of the voyage in your cabin. Social distancing and the use of masks will be part of the cruise. So guys, think carefully before you sign up for these. We're still sure it's going to be very interesting, but remember, it's not going to be a normal cruise. You'll be required to take place in drills and emergency scenarios, possibly giving feedback. We have signed up because we would love to be a part of this. I think it would be a fantastic thing to do and very interesting indeed. Yeah, it really would be. But like you said, it isn't going to be a normal cruise. So I don't think there's going to be lounging around the pool, drinking cocktails so much as, like you said, doing drills, isolating to your cabin and testing all the procedures. So in some other news, Princess Cruises have announced that all of their ships will be coming back with the Ocean Medallion technology on board. This is really fantastic news. If you don't know what the Ocean Medallion technology is, please take a look at this video that we made on Sky Princess last year, which gives all of the details. Some extra things that Princess will be able to do with this technology is to have a contact tracing system for all of the passengers on board, and it makes it a complete and utter touchless operation. Even the doors open when you go near with your wristwatch. It's really fantastic. It's such a good thing and makes cruising even more enjoyable. 
Norwegian Cruise Line have cancelled all January and February 2021 cruises. This was to be expected, but they have finally announced it. Earlier this year, Norwegian promised to update customers at the end of each month, but disappointingly so far, that hasn't happened. And we've talked to plenty of our subscribers who say that they're very disappointed, some even finding out their cruises were cancelled as they had disappeared from online bookings and couldn't access the website. Yeah, that's really bad, isn't it? I think Norwegian need to be a little bit more proactive than they were towards the beginning, but they really need to keep their customers updated. And finally, lots of ships are making their way back to Florida. This includes most Disney cruise ships, the Dream, Wonder and Fantasy. The Celebrity Edge is also back in Port Everglades. And as we revealed a few weeks ago, Carnival Breeze and Carnival Horizon are back in Florida too. What does this mean? Well, it's got to be great news that they're all heading back to their home ports. It really means we're finally seeing movement back to cruising again. This is really positive. We do know that Carnival with Carnival Horizon are having a few bumps in with the CDC, which is unfortunate. They haven't passed a test about getting crews safely uh, repatriated, so they're still very much closely working on that. But yeah, cruise lines still have a lot to do, don't they? They do, but at least there's things happening now. It feels like things are in motion to get back to normality or whatever will be normality after this whole pandemic ends. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure you check out our sponsor of the week, The Ridge Wallet. They have some fantastic wallets for Christmas. Click the link in the description section below to get 10% off. And please subscribe, guys. We've got so much fantastic content coming next year as soon as we start cruising again. So go on, hit it, please. Big thank you to all of our patrons. Your support really means a lot to us, especially this year. Thank you so much, guys. You can find out more in the description section below. And the captain of the week is Jamie. So, hi there, Jamie. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.